What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Louisiana Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are moving our troops through the Middle East towards Europe and the first stepping stone on our path to victory is to attack this force here under Abdul Labib to open the road towards Kabul. So let us attack and destroy this first very fresh army. Let's take them out. They are occupying one of our mining outposts. Um, so if wider battle damage was a thing, that would be something to keep an eye on, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so right now things are a bit scrappy in Europe. Our main goal is to keep pushing with our overwhelming firepower through Europe. So let's deploy our artillery up on the hill behind. Deploy our howitzers slightly off axis on each side. So their, in their um, infantry, because the Michigan infantry itself is not a very good quality. You generally need it supported with something else. And we've also got a regiment of Gurkhas which I definitely want to push up the flank. General in the centre. Some artillery. It's going to be firing round shot. So where's the, where are their guns? Their guns are dug in. This If my artillery can't shoot anything with quick climb, switch to round shot. run my cavalry up I don't like that, that looks like either a quick climb shot or a shrapnel shot but yeah Kizilbashi musketeers they're like they're like bullet sponges I do admit but they're not capable you don't look at them and go oh no not the Kizilbashis ok let's focus my artillery fire on their camels because their gunners are in the dug in. They are marching up to meet us. These guns aren't even firing. That you this unit might even be able to drop some Yes, glorious quick climb. This can kind of, but unreliably. So they need to push up to the top of the hill. The camel gunners, they can take they can take a bit of a hammering. Okay, let's take these four, push around the left of the buildings. Actually, no, let's take... Let's take you... Come on, don't deploy funny. Push you guys up like so. Let's try to run some Gurkhas up. Run my cavalry around the flank. I mean, these musketeers are not going to do well against my men. So my men are going to absorb the fire of these musketeers. Fortunately they're aiming at the 52nd as well, so that means these guys can successfully charge in. Big, big, big morale collapse on this flank. I do see an enemy unit charging in. Spin around and hit the camel gunners. My Gurkhas are in, so let's get these guys pushed up. My Gurkhas are just scything through these units. They've got melee attack 16. And the defense is pretty good as well. Rich East India Company infantry are winning well. 
All right then, let's just get my cavalry to go go out of here then, and instead chase down some of the other enemies. You guys charge. Get my cavalry to start charging down the enemy. You guys are actually engaging in a conventional fight. These Gurkhas are scything through Kizilbashi. Charge my Kyosier into the General's bodyguard. Yeah, this has just been a a revolt. A rout. A rout. Sorry, not a revolt. A rout. Alright, so you guys push up. I could do with... Okay, maybe get my Kyosier over here. Let's get my field artillery to engage that unit of musketeers. Try to get this light cavalry out of the fight and instead over into the main... into a position where they can chase down routing troops. Charge you guys into the foot artillery. Push the you guys up push you guys up ahead still it looks like some of them are coming back get the Cressiers to smash into the rear of the formation over here it looks like they are going to shoot my Gurkhas okay you guys peel off and start to actually shoot some different units Cressiers are going to do some huge damage here Keep charging into the combat. Uh, my light cavalry have been intercepted. Get my Gurkhas in there as well. Let's get my Crossiers out to go hit this unit of Musketeers to try and prevent them from killing too many of my Gurkhas by shooting them in the back. go. Got these Gurkhas over here. Doing some great work. Light cavalry versus the General's bodyguard. I'm not so sure that's a good outcome. them that'd be perfect yeah don't worry my Gurkhas have got you well, those musketeers say they're winning against my infantry that's not good new boys get stuck in As do you guys. You guys get stuck in. Good, let's get over here and kill their general. Stop shooting my artillery in general. So if we can knock out their general, that would be quite a good morale victory for us. starting to uh yeah killing the general's bodyguard would be great because it looks like we're starting to get some morale pushback neither of my howitzers can engage okay let's get my infantry across the field you guys go hit that unit of musketeers East, East India Company cavalry push east. There you go, these musketeers are going down. Let's get my general into the mix. Those guys are both broken. 
So let's get these men around the rear. You guys go hit the 20th in the rear. Cassiers, you get over here. Everyone else, get over here. There we go. In these kind of things, it's always whoever routes first loses. Get all my artillery hit. Those musketeers, these guys just tramp up here and take them out. Get my general into the mix to start. chasing down some of these devils. Let's speed up time. So we're probably going to lose a bunch of my own dudes. You guys stop firing. There we go. Because then those musketeers are going to break as well. So that's why I've sped it up. Because right now there's not a lot. Not a lot to do. Afghan hillmen. Continue. Go after the cavalry. Stop the artillery. Go after the infantry, sorry. Not stop the... Stop them. You guys go after them. Kill as many of them as you can. Okay, now go after these guys with the weak unit of cavalry. The Gurkhas are up to four experienced chevrons already, but they have lost a lot of men. Ah, these guys will probably kill them. Oh no, they spread out. A bit funky. Yeah, they did. This guy made it. Nuts. Oh well. We fought this army, we've gutted it, now we're going to send it reeling back towards... Man. Actually, it's going to the fort. Forward. There we go, Theodore. Form line for battle. Let's take it out. Theodore can follow up and capture the fort. It's not going to likely be a long or difficult battle but I think it could be quite satisfying. Because then we march on to Afghanistan, then the northern road to Persia is open. There we go. So let's get these guys going in through the front door. Boy, where I want you to, with the cavalry and the light infantry, everyone else, deploy over, huh, there we go, oh no, light horse artillery, devils, The climb coming in. Infantry units on the flank. Storm up. So I got my horse, I'll tell you, working on a different section of wall. I mean, the field of fire is pretty pants, but. We're going to crack open this entrance pretty easy enough. But I want to open two so I can swarm in easier. Oh, they're actually quite fairly strong. Maybe it would be better if I waited to... Uh, crack away in. Start dropping shells with our howitzers onto the camel gunners in the fort. Shells away! 
dangerously near. The idea is if I avoid these walls and just run up here, then I can just run around the enemy rather than actually trying to assault because they're quite similar sized to us in terms of scale. I mean, my light horse artillery, is it not even... Yeah, even, it just stopped shooting. Nice one, light horse artillery. Right, let's get... some units up on the wall immediately to provide a bit of bulk. New men climb the wall near the gates. These units hunker down near the gate. Okay, you guys, the yeah, Grenadiers need to get up here as well. My front rank. Get up here. My cavalry, get up here. This could prove to be quite the bloody battle. There's the camel gunners. Got some line. It well, two units of infantry are, up, are getting up there anyway. Start to engage. We're engaging the Afghan hillmen. Grenadiers are actually doing the good thing in going over here. You guys get into square. Cavalry storm straight in. All of you run in. Camel gunners look like they're going to fade pretty quick. This is going to be a bit bloody. We've captured the gate. Camels are routed. There we go, my cavalry have just bypassed the enemy defences. Take him out. I did quick line, but I wanted to stop. No. See, they keep the one. They want to fight near the breach. And it's like no, run away. That's what my Native American warriors are for. You guys get over here. You men go over there and also fight the musketeers. We've actually got a foothold. These men are paying heavily. Yeah, look, see, they, they, even though they have their orders, they're still sat there going, oh, no, hang on now. Very well. Fight them. The new men on the square. Are you actually stood in the square? Holding the square if I do that? You are. You go stop firing. Our grenadiers are routing. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a bit bloody. So I wanted a new, uh, new way in. When the grenadiers are routing, you know, you know that's pretty bad. Yeah, we're getting picked off a bit at range by. That unit of musketeers, but we can quick climb the bejesus out of them. My actual infantry, though, is 
pretty sturdy and they're continuing their attacks. I mean, the bulk of their men are over here fighting the men that are just climbing up. So the men of the, the 49th. Still keen, though. They're, they're winning. Oh, they're, yeah, the hillmen are winning, but they're wavering. All for no avail. As my Native Americans hack their way through the gates. Through the breach. Huzzah! The fortress is taken. It is over. My men can take the position. Replenish their troops. Potentially could pick up more troops if they wanted to. Oh no, they could recruit them from elsewhere. New men could push on to the... You could push on to Kabul. Kabul. But I would like you to replenish... You can't push on to Zahedin. None of you guys can push on any further. Everyone is deployed. Haha, <laughs> my great fleets. So who are you? You are Britain, with a bunch of second rates. Let's just go and take him out. We are victorious! Ooh. I'm not quite sure where that fifth rate where those that british fleet went no don't join the fleet you guys take the post let's try and find out where they went and if we go right to the corner aha Justin Seymour, you fool. Then Mr. Surkouf, you must be dispatched to the Americas for repairs. You can hop onto that trade post. Oh no, it's Denmark. Very well. You can go and join this fleet. Then I'll split you up when the time comes. It's got a new break in Denmark. Let's send the rake over to Vilnius. Construction report. Okay. Sorry, Grade. These craft workshops to a weaver's cottage. Lots of new Catholic buildings. There we go. There we go. Let's upgrade the tea warehouse. And we do have the small matter of Britain declaring war on us. So let's deploy this force Make ready. onto the fifth rate ossery. And let's go and hit. The British capital. Well, we can't attack it this turn. Yeah, we can sail around that guy. Sail around their zone of control. Land their troops. They've got nothing of a garrison. They've got some annoying sections of troops that they could act on if they wanted to. If you go, eh, it's not a bad little, not a bad detachment to defend Hanover. This army's in good nick. This army's fully replenished. Do I just march them south and just attack the Australians here? Australians, Austrians here. Or do I send you? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. think a not terrible idea is to build the core of a new army in Berlin take this force 
march out and hit Karl Wertheimer. Free. Let's lift, try and lift the siege of Vienna or Dresden. Let's go. And so this is going to be a bit. Of, this is going to be an open field battle rather than a a siege battle. But I think it's it's the right decision. It's the right decision. Ultimately, it's we could sit there and wait and wait and wait for them to attack us, and they may never actually attack us. So, hmm. Oh, this is a really weird deployment zone. I don't... Okay. What's, what's the trick? What's the trick? What's going on? Let's deploy fairly uh, conventional battle line. I don't quite know what the what the end result's going to be. I mean, they could. Well, they should theoretically be all behind, all coming in behind them. Okay, good. Seems like that is the case. So we want to, we're going to want to be quick climbing like animals because we are going to be fighting against a significant amount of troops. You guys are going to drop straight into square. You guys are going to be blasting the cavalry right in front of you. You guys are just going to stop where you are. Gonna drop into square as well. A lot of cavalry coming in, but a sharpshooter unit out here might be pretty dope. You guys start to hit the enemy, you guys stay in formation. I mean, I might run my cavalry against those light cavalry sharpshooters pick my quick climbing artillery to have actual targets make sure these guys stay in square two cavalry units down that's pretty good you guys get out of square back into the normal formation you guys look like you're gonna knock out those light cavalry sharpshooters. Uh, stay in square, you fools. Okay, good. So that army's knocked out. That unit's knocked out, rather. Switch to canister shot, hit the expats. You guys hit the 23rd foot unit of Jaegers. And then you guys can now get out of formation, deploy correctly. I said correctly, I said. The fifth light horse are coming in again. Bit of a bummer getting so many getting so many cavalry charges. It does mean you can't you're losing men much more easily than you normally would be. Because you lose a lot of men when they do these cavalry charges. Mm. 
you need to really be hitting those mountain jaegers to the rear. My general's been killed, or one of them has. Probably you against the Swiss jaeger. Pivot you guys in. I'll get the landwehr militia, I mean. Try and get you guys at least back into square formation to begin something a bit more conventional. You guys open up into those lancers. They're winning, allegedly. There we go. A nice swift volley from the sharpshooters is enough to deal with them. Now the cuirassiers deploy up there to go hit those 24 pounders. You go take them out. Enemy cuirassiers inbound. Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Maybe charge through them before we hit the artillery. Straight, straight through. Done a good amount of damage on the charge. They've realised I'm going after their artillery. So I want their cavalry to hit my square, realistically. Their light cavalry. You fire all off. Bring my light cavalry back around. You guys are in range of their artillery. There we go. You guys give them some support. That's the artillery dealt with. Just run in and hit the Swiss Mountain Jaeger. This regiment of foot is not happy at all. These two units are ganging up on that Hussar unit. So we've got them, yeah, I was say we've charged them, so they're, they're here somewhere. Ah, some of my infantry have broken. They've taken too much of a hammering alone from the infantry, I suspect. They've not got much cavalry actually on the field. Okay, let's bring you guys up. Wait, they came back. Good lads. Ah, gotta be careful that these are the Okay, let's get two units firing at them, two units firing at the Hungarian Grand Days behind. Actually get you hit the warband, you hit that unit foot guards. I see enemy artillery coming in, that's not good. No bueno. A 
lots more cavalry storming in. We've got so much damn quickline. The trick is now keeping my... Can you guys actually shoot the infantry that's coming right at you? You guys can spare a shot for the Curassier guards. You guys stop doing that. You're wasting ammo. Quick line, coming in! Field artillery's landing some shots in here. Quick line, coming in. Horse guards are running up to my line. Let's canister them. You guys, do you guys have to get into square? I don't think so. Let's take these two units here. Let's fall back. Yeah, there we go. So you guys start to drop. Artillery on the left. You guys start dropping it on the centre. You guys now need to start dropping rapid fire canister. More 24 pounders. need to hit more in the center. So what they got over here? Yeah, a lot of artillery. So let's do something like this, which you guys to round shot. Are you actually doing that? You've knocked up two of their guns. That's pretty good. Hit the general's bodyguard. Good, we've made one unit route. Quick climb is really close to the enemy. You go smash into the marines. I don't have a skirmisher general guy. go. Fire at the light horse artillery. The light horse. Actually no, wait. Run heavy cavalry, run! Lead them away. Let's get that cavalry back out on the flank trying to hit the warband. Keep knocking away, at, chipping away at them. They're shattered, so they're not coming back. Yeah, hit the Coeur de Bois. It's okay. You guys are going to knock out them. Yeah, a light horse isn't useless. You fellas, a 
are charging an infantry position that has withstood multiple cavalry attacks. Just keep opening up the taps. Cavalry is General's bodyguards are very far away. Canister shot the artillery, the cavalry at point blank range. This infantry unit, I wouldn't be surprised if it did route. It's a foot guard unit off in the distance. Come on, you guys. Fire! You missed! They can hit my artillery and my square. That's alright. That's not a bad trade. Yeah, they've, quite, they've left my artillery alone. Because they were drawn into my square. Although they're now going into my artillery. It's kind of lame. I'm going to stay in square formation anyway. Because that's my plan for my general. You can make my artillery run. But my infantry... There we go. Let's get out of here. You men. Form up. So I think they're trying to uh, hit my hit my howitzers because I've lost some some troops there. Oh, that infantry cards have got annihilated. There, yeah, you guys all drop into square. They're coming back. I didn't know how weak this inf this general unit was. Blasting them. Blast them. So let's line up against these guardsmen. What's that coming in there now? Art artillery way, way off in the distance. Chase them down, pivot you guys along. Got a feeling this is the end of their... Uh, this is the end of their... Well, they've lost or they're, they're losing their... Uh, reinforcements here. Chase them down and kill those guys. Oh, good cavalry. But just nail it in. You're going to be a long way off, but... kill these last two crewmen just because heavy horse howitzers are really good so we do want to make an effort to knock them out there's one guy left and he's down here and he's dead I'm not sure where the gunners are for that unit six foot guards Six foot guards of. Uh... Okay, where is so the unit, the unit, the horses, the cavalry, the uh, 
trading team is routed, so there's a unit somewhere on the field. And it's just a gun. No. Hessian Jaeger. Get one volley off, but then stop. Let our volley go in. Damn right we're going to continue. We've actually got a bit of cavalry. Got two line infantry guards left. That's them annihilated. Now go chase down your friends. Actually go for that unit of six Swiss Mountain Jaegers first. I didn't get to kill them, but close. General over here is after these line infantry guardsmen, but they've split up, so they're going to likely escape safely. Although those two men actually just tipped over and died, so that didn't happen. Now it's just the ninth light foot. With one last Hessian Jaeger. Close victory. It wasn't close, but it was a bit sporty at times, I do admit. There we go. We lost 1,200 men. They lost nearly 5,000. Back, you devils! Board. Seamen fall back and are punished. This natural army in Dresden's now got a bit of extra time to grow. Ready and awaiting order. You could go and attack that army there, I suppose. Realistically, you need to be creating a reserve army here to try and stop them from crossing over into the crossing over into uh, Denmark. You're recruiting infantry to fill up your last slot, although that's pretty much okay. We've dealt with pretty much everything. Deployed our army into Yelgava to go fight the Brits. Sweden's hunkering down. Everyone's moved in India. Okay, let's hit end turn. Waiting for your orders. Any further order? Yeah. Sink my little fifth rate. Let's see how many he gets. He gets. Ladies and. He got six! Disaster. You say disaster? That's a pretty good trade. Ah, they're desperately trying to dump all their men into the city. Dory Austria, we've proved we can just repel you at leisure. My only objective in Europe is to just hold on. Hold on while we break through. Oh, you're actually going to march to Paris. Dangerously near. Do I want to intercept? Do I want to? Probably now. Especially as they've got one... They're going to charge a load of men through with cavalry spikes and die immediately. These two armies are mostly knackered, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.